Praise the Lord. God bless you, people of the Lord, the Most High God. This is Michael A.C. Johnson, Jr. And I want to talk to the young people on today uh, for a few minutes, a few moments, if you don't mind. I want to talk to you about being who God has called you to be. And I pretty much always just about I always speak on being the best man or woman, young man, young woman that God has called you to be. It is very important that you be whom God has called you to be and to do the things that God has called you to do. I want to tell the young men to be a young man of valor and strength. Be brave. Be proud of whom God has made you to be. To all the young ladies out there, be that young woman of excellence and have a standard in God. Have a standard of holiness and respect for yourself. In word, deed, and conversation your lifestyle, as well as the men, you know, men and women, let us dress modest, let us behave and do good, do good and be good, because it's very important, especially being a child of God. The Bible says, how can a young man please the Lord? And one way that we can please God is through being cleansed. Cleansed by the word of God, cleansed by the washing, born of the water, the spirit and the blood, the Holy Ghost, having all of that, believing on the gospel, believing on Jesus Christ according to uh, salvation. Acts 2 and 38, Acts 4 and 12, Acts 2 verse 1, Acts 1 and 8, St. John 3 and 16, Romans 3, 9 through 10. It's very important that we uphold ourselves in such a Christ-like manner that the world would be able to see that we are saved. According to Matthew, the seventh chapter it says, let your light so shine that men, meaning humanity, people all over the world, that they can see your good works and that your good works, hallelujah, can glorify your Father, God, which is in heaven. And I want to tell you on today, yeah, we have to be very careful what we do and what we say. People are watching us. I am being watched. You are being watched. And many of you know that I am an evangelist. And uh, I say that I'm an evangelist. I don't like to say I call myself because I say that I am. God called me and I am an evangelist. I'm a brother in Christ. That's why also uh, my name is not only Evangelist Michael A.C. Johnson Jr. or Evangelist Michael Johnson Jr. I am also Brother Michael. I'm a Brother Michael and I'm humble in heart because it's not about the titles, but it's about the gift of God and the work that God has equipped myself and you young people. God is calling us. God is calling us. And the Lord used me when I was 13 years old, 12 and 13 years old. I had a youth ministry. And at the time by myself being a youth, and I'm still a youth, but I was a younger youth. I was a younger young man who had just accepted my calling into the ministry. God had given me a great big heart for um, uh, to, to, to deal with the young people. God gave me a young people's ministry and I began to minister and uh, thank God because there was a friend uh, from my hometown saw on my Facebook page a message that I was teaching and she left a good comment saying I've been knowing this young man my friend he's like family to me a long time and he used to preach to us at school and I don't remember that I always remember being a part of the church and I remember in my youth serving God, although I had made mistakes and 
I did some things. I even danced and I had gold teeth and I like gold teeth. Just to let you know, I like gold teeth. Just the ones that are not looking real wild and crazy. I just like gold. Gold is one of my favorite colors, but I used to have gold teeth when I was a teenager. And, um, but this young lady, she remembered, she remembered that God used me in high school and not only high school, but junior high school, elementary, elementary school. And I began to tell people, the young people that Jesus Christ is real and that he was important and that he's the savior of the world and that he is God and that God is real. Amen. God is real, not Israel, but is real. Praise God. And so I want to encourage many others today the same. How God used me back then, God is yet using me here in 2021. And I also just want to say that um, God even used me in preschool. My dad had prayed for a preacher. God he had prayed to the Lord that God would send him a preacher. I didn't ever think that I was going to be a preacher. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to preach. I really didn't. Sometimes it's yet hard, even now, because always saying yes to God is, is not easy. When you say yes to God, you're sacrificing many things. Because if I didn't have to be involved in preaching and teaching and trying to live for the Lord, I would just be partying my life away. I'll be partying, drinking, having sex, you know, having lots of women. I would be doing all kinds of things, even prob probably drugs, which I have no desire <clears throat> for. But I just want to encourage the young people that you can live for God. You can live spotless. It's hard, but you have to sacrifice yourself. The Bible says in Romans 12, which is one of my grandmother, her favorite scripture, Mother Nadine Robertson Johnson, her favorite scripture and the scripture and the word of the Lord in Romans 12, you can get your Bible. It says, present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And when I was a part of the Holy Temple Church of God in Christ as well in Mesa, Arizona, that was one scripture that we always read as well. But again, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And um, I want to hurry up and finish because in an hour I got another program. I'll be on with the Platform of Hope ministering at 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time and Pacific Standard Time. And we're going to be talking about victory through this. And so anyway, I want to hurry up and finish what I'm saying. But then verse two says, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So I want to say to you, live for the Lord. God wants to use you. God wants to call you. But God is seeking for willing vessels. God is seeking for willing workers. Those that will worship God in spirit and in truth and those that will honor him. Those that will obey him. It's not always easy being obedient to God and saying yes to his will and yes to his way. It's just not easy. It's not easy all the time. It is not. I can tell, I can definitely tell you because I've been saved. Um, let's see. I've been saved about maybe 23, 24 years. And I'm not going to say my age. Some of you already know my age. I just don't like to say my age all the time, but or tell people my age. That's just me. But anyway, um, I want to encourage the young people. Be careful of what you put on your social media pages. It's good to enjoy social media. But if you profess Christ, if you love the Lord, be very careful of what you share and what you post. Be very careful of using vulgarity and profanity. Profanity is really not allowed and accepted. And it should not be posted and shared on Facebook and Instagram, of videos that approve of such bad content. The Bible says, how can the light and darkness, so to speak, walk together or agree? They are enemies to each other. And so if you're going to be a part of the Lord's army, this end time army, if you're going to be on the battlefield for the Lord, you have to separate yourself from that which is unholy and be 
more like Christ, have a desire to be more like Christ. I have this scripture here, says uh, Jude chapter, um, I think it's chapter two. Yeah, it is two. Let me see one second, y'all. Jude one and 24, it's only one chapter. I want to read verses 24 through 25. It says, now unto him, young people, now unto you that is able to keep you from falling, God, to present you faultless, God, before the presence of his glory, God, with exceeding joy, God, to the only wise, what? God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. So understand that your life is not your own. To God you belong. Give yourself away so that God can use you. God loves you and your life is at a state. God wants you to be saved. God wants you to be saved. God is calling you to be saved. The Bible says to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are un ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed and all of their hard speeches with God, ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words. Help us, Jesus. Having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But beloved, remember ye the words were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. How that they told you there should be mockers in the last time which is the day that we're living in. Who should walk after their own ungodly lust? God help us in the name of Jesus, even myself. Th uh, these be they who separate themselves. Sensual, having not the spirit, meaning the spirit of Christ. You have to have the spirit of God, y'all. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost, young people. The Holy Ghost is real. Don't imitate don't 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 uh, play like you have the Holy Ghost and don't play around with the Holy Ghost. When we were kids, we used to play church. But now that we're older now, we're in our 20s and 30s. Thank God. I'm, I'm no longer in my 20s, but I remember when I was a kid, I used to play church. But I played church till I started having church and the anointing of God fell on my life at such a young age that I began to walk in my calling, even in the days of daycare and preschool. Although I did some things in preschool and um, throughout uh, elementary school, kindergarten, first grade, I was a bad boy. I was mischievous coming up in East Palo Alto, California. So we have to believe in the Holy Ghost. We have to believe in the faith of God. You have to have faith in God. You have to have faith in Jesus' name. If you don't have faith, you're not going to be able to maintain your relationship with Christ and make it in this world. And you won't be who you desire to be. You won't even be successful like you want to be. You can't have success without Christ. Although that God, his spirit and his love reigns on the just and the unjust, but you can be more successful with Christ in your life because what you do for Christ as well will last. It's not just your education. It's just not just your intellect and who you are, who's your mother and who's your father and who you're related to and the connections that you have. When you have God in your life, God opens up those doors. He opened up those windows of uh, opportunity and blessing for you. He'll pour you out blessings that you have not even enough room to receive because the blessings of Jesus Christ maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. Why? Because the Lord God loves you. Because you had made a firm step to accept Christ in your life. Mm, mm, mm. To come out of darkness and into the light of Christ. Will you always be perfect every day? No, we're going to fall. And the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short. Of the glory of God. Christ is a restorer. He's freely pouring out blessings. He has restoration. And he has life. He has a great work. And he has great plans for you. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah. So keeping yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some have compassion making a difference. We have to have the same love for everyone. There's no picks and chooses. There's no little eyes and big U's or big eyes and little U's in the body of Christ. We got to stop all that mess. So many pastors and their families and their wives are bringing these kind of spirits within their church. It's great to continue your family legacy. But remember, baby, it's about Christ. Remember, it's not about you. It's about Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're representing Christ. We're putting on Jesus Christ and we're pulling off the sinful flesh and the human nature. We're walking in the spirit and in the light of the Christ of Christ Jesus, walking in the light of Christ, in which Christ wants to give us the light. The Bible says, arise and shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. So I just speak blessings and life to you. Be careful what you do. Be careful what you say. Be careful where you go. Be careful of the music that you listen to. Enjoy your life. Have fun, but be very careful. And be very sure that your anchor is in Jesus Christ. Be very sure that you have a good standing relationship with Jesus Christ. Don't forget God. Always remember God in all of your ways and everything that you do. Acknowledge God. And God will direct your path. The Lord loves you, young people. The Lord loves me. God knows our future. God knows our vision. God knows the plans that you would take. God knows the steps that you would take. God knows the hairs that's on your head. He knows the amount of hair, hair and the hairs that the strands of hair upon your head. God created you from head to toe. Every bone, every blood vessel, everything within you that God has given you. God made you. We are the sheep of God's pasture. We didn't make ourselves. God didn't. We didn't call ourselves. God called us. Today, if you hear the Lord's voice, if you hear him knocking on your door, if you hear him knocking at your heart, let God in today. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Let him come into your life and make you better, a better man, a better woman, so that you can be more successful in God and even successful in the natural, on your jobs and in your careers and as wives and husbands and husband and wives and sons and daughters and everything that God has called you to be, everything that you have. Let God bless you real good. Be encouraged. The Bible says in the last days, God will use the young men and women. Sons will see visions. The old men will dream dreams. And the daughters will prophesy. Is that you? Do you want to be used by God? Or do you want to be a dweller that dwells in the tent of wickedness? Being controlled, controlled, controlled and governed by the devil. You got to get busy for the Lord. Put Jesus on your mind. It is true. An idle mind is the devil's workshop. But when you get Jesus on your mind, you begin to do all the things that God has called you to do. You begin to say and to be and to walk in every promise and every word that God has spoken. He pronounced out of his mouth all those words that proceeded out of the mouth of God for you. To give you thoughts of hope, peace, joy, and an, an, an expected end. God's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the palm of yourself. Everything that contains yourself, God got you in his hand. Hold on to the Lord's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal, not on things of the world, but hold to God's unchanging hand. Time is ever changing. Time is, is moving with swift transition. 
The earth can't even be able to stand. Earth can't even be able to keep up with the seasons. Sometime is summer, so to speak, it can be a, it could be a, the summer season, but you could start having winter weather in the summer season. It could be winter and you have a, a summer day. You know what I'm saying? But the God that we is that we serve, he's in control of life, death, the grave, and yourself. He's in control of the devil. And God is in control of your victory and your future. He's in control of your dreams. Give your life to the Lord. And let your light shine for Christ. Don't let it just be about you. Don't be selfish, but live your life unto the Lord. Be careful what you say. Be careful of what you post on your social media pages. TikTok, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, Pinterest, and uh, Twitter, and all of these other social media components that are out there that they're creating. I mean, they're creating so much. I can't even keep up with, you know, myself. And I have to find out from other friends, what's such and such? How do I make such and such? Oh, and I forgot one, Snapchat as well. Some of the older folks call it Snappy Chat. Be careful, be careful, y'all, just be careful. And if you're involved in a relationship, hopefully that relationship is helping you to be a greater man and woman, and hopefully you're being loved truly because love is a gift and is very special and it comes from God. Even intimacy and marriage comes from God. It was not formed by man. It was not formed by man and woman. Although man and woman can get married. And now today you got the LGBT, lesbians, bisexual, transgenders. And I forget what the Q is for transgender and all that, but... We live in a time where things is changing and people are changing, trying to change God's word, but God's word cannot be changed. God's word is going to forever stand. The Bible tells us that even in Isaiah, he said, my word will not come back to me void. It's going to accomplish everything that I, I sent it out to do. That's what the Lord said. And what God said, when God says something, he mean it. God is a jealous God, but he he's also a God that does not lie. And he's a God that does not play. Mm, mm, mm. I'm hoping and truly, I truly pray that this message, this recording that I am sharing with you will be uh, shared and uh, recorded uh, on all forms of social media because I want my friends and family to be blessed. I also have friends and associates that are not saved and I'm not judging them. I just watch with a careful eye, but I pray. And I don't judge them because I have my own shortcomings. So we're all in this together. If you have fallen and if I have fallen, we can strengthen each other and get back up. We can be all who God called us to be if we will work together and seek the face of God and be what Jesus Christ desires for us to be and to do, to say and to go. It's just got to be obedient to God and tell the Lord, yes. The Lord bless you and keep you. I love you. I thank you so much for this time. I got to run and go. I got to go to the Platform of Hope with Elder Jimmy Brown and Elder Timmy Brown and Evangelist Joyce McCoy Peel. Or Evangelist Peel, uh, Joyce, M Joyce Peel McCoy. I, I'm getting her, her name all messed up. And she's a good friend of ours. She's on the platform of hope with us but i'm going to run and um you all be blessed and i will talk with you soon but again i pray that this message will be uh, shared this is 2021 and um god has been blessing i've been having a few uh, engagements but also uh, been ministering at home and on uh, facebook and uh, restream and um, um, there's other um, sites I can't think of right now that I've been ministering on uh, Zoom, thank you, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom 
But I pray that this message will be shared so that someone can hear and be blessed by these words. And just know that I'm praying for you. If you ever need prayer, I'm praying for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, thank you for these words that came out of my mouth. And I ask that you will continue to anoint me afresh for thine use and thy glory and your purpose, God, and that the young people can be blessed and saved and inspired and encouraged by the words that I have spoken along with the scriptures and the anointing of God that rest rule and abide in me, Father God, the power of God that's invested in me. I ask that you'll continue to use me as a humble servant and clean up my life and help me to get my life together so that I could be faultless and I could present myself faultless and be uh, presentable and found worthy in your sight and pleasing in your sight that the words and the praises I sing will be a sweet smelling savior, savor, in your nostrils, God. In the name of Jesus, I want you to be praised. I want you to be magnified and glorified. And I ask that you'll bless all these young people and even myself. Anoint our lives. Anoint our vision, our goals, and our destinies. Bless us on our jobs. Bless our managers. And forgive us for the things that we've done wrong and said wrong. In the name of Jesus, continue to bless us, God. Don't charge it to our head and our heart. But Lord, forgive us. What cleanse us, wash us over and over again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, and I praise you. We thank you for grace and mercy in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. God bless you, young people. We can make it. Hang on in there. I know it's tough. I know it's rough. I know it's rough. I've been through a lot myself. My parents have died so young a couple years back. My mom been gone 12 years, she, 53 uh, plus 12, you do the math, my mom would be 65. My dad would be about 63, 64 if he was living. And they died four years and two weeks apart from each other in the month of December. And you know, that was hard for me. Lost my mom before Christmas and lost my dad the day after Christmas. And I'm in 